slower game, but still some pretty good stats too. All right, cool. That's oh, let's go across the board. All right, so we are back. When we last left off, we did a couple runs through uh, Basement 3. Um, or rather say, um, Layer 3. After doing a brief run where we successfully made it to Layer to layer 4, through kind of luck. Everyone's at full health. Geared up. Let's go. So, B3 thus far is probably going to be the more grindy chunks of the game we're going to go through, just because it all kind of depends on whether or not Okay, check for a chest over here. Whether or not we f easily find our way down to B4, or if we have to wander around a bunch. Basically, you know, the ultimate goal here is, depending on how things turned out, do we survive, like, how long does it take you to build up enough hit points, um, in, or uh, level up in gear, to take down, to survive at the level in an extended period of time, I guess the way I describe it. I'm just going to use a straight rush here because you got those two cobalts. Oh, nice. We got the birds pretty quick. Or harpies, rather. transfer post from last time, so I'm going to hand that over to them. Also, one thing that makes it a little different, this a little different from regular wizardry, uh, is so with the elevators in this, in regular wizardry book one, you basically have like a big central elevator that will take you all the way to uh, through each level of the dungeon, more or less, once you have activated on each level. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> well, this is a bad run. That said, two can play at this game. Oh, 
<sighs> have to reorient the party, but that's okay. Interesting talking about the depiction of orcs in this game. Uh, because we've been. Over the past couple weeks since I started doing this, um, since I, had, I took my break, um, my short break from streaming, um, there has been some interesting discourse going on on orcs and media, basically. Like, particularly villainous races in general, like both orcs and drow and that sort of thing. Um, but, and sort of talking about how monstrous races and such have been depicted in Dungeons and Dragons and that sort of stuff over the years. Um, And where this gets interesting with orcs, so we get in the discussions of, um, let's back up for a second, that in earlier versions of Dungeons and Dragons, you would have quote unquote villainous, oops, get back, back, villainous races depicted in a variety of, yep, okay, something there. This one I can't mass attack, I'm gonna have to do a switch. Ah, I'm using using healing a lot more earlier than I wanted to. Anyway. That in games like Dungeons and Dragons, like earlier versions of Dungeons and Dragons, like Birth Edition, you'd have monster reaction tables at the GM. Would be expected to roll at the start of each combat, and that's more than combat encounter with an both you know and dirty. At the start of each encounter with a um, a potentially hostile enemy. Turn woke up from that, that's good. Um can still rush. Sure next, um, build next term. Um, and players were expected to, um, like, it was intended that you'd be negotiating more often with, um, monsters and humanoid races in the dungeons and that sort of thing. And later on additions, we're good. Um, Try to plug in the Bluetooth the two port uh, adapter to two USB ports this time. See if I lose select connection less often. Does we have better maintain a better battery charge? We'll see. Anyway, <clears throat> but there's still a, still a discussion of problems with orcs in terms of how they are depicted in. Here was awake now. Okay. Uh. And with the comment being um, that <clears throat> a lot of these like humanoid races, quote unquote, non-human, um, non-human, but 
Oh yeah. In terms of use as humanoid, three human races were depicted in using language and terminology that was used for basically tribal races. Not tribal races. Tribal cult tribal races is the wrong term, but races is the term that they used at the time. The more accurate term would have been tribal cultures in racist anthropological literature of like the Victorian era and that sort of thing, which would then in turn inform using quotes early swords and sorcery novels and that sort of thing. And I bring this up because in the wizardry games, while you've often had mo had encounters in the dungeon, which were ones where you were cutting friendly monsters, even of races that would normally like be hostile. Not even like races, but entities that would otherwise be hostile. Because actually, entity is the right term. Even like, oh, you've encountered a friendly wraith. You encountered a friendly bunch of animated coins. Um, you would still, um, and you would get docked alignment points for fighting them because they're friendly. But by contrast, uh, You still have, in terms of depictions of monsters, like some of the old trappings. And this is particularly notable when we get to like wizardry. Once we get to the Japanese exclusive games like this one, where wizardry is, where it's, you have the a additional degree of removal here. And this game in particular, you have depictions of, like, like this is the first time we've been in the Wizardry series we have orcs with dialogue, like actual combat dialogue. Um, and it's still, an, and it ends up falling back on some bad tropes. See if I can mop up like four of these in like two hits. Yep, okay. That leaves me with one, and I can just more focus my attention more effectively on that one. I'm not saying it's a bad idea for game designers to want to humanize monsters necessarily. Spells. All right. So, Durgan does not have teal. I want to level up. Goes teal forever. Just priests. And then... Oh, 
Okay, that worked out well. Oh, you. Um, crap. I think a rush actually is fairly effective on you guys. Right, yeah, you guys do a lot of damage, but have really weak hit points. For this run, military just kind of sweep, sweep the uh, perimeter. <sighs> Before going to the interior. I will say these guys are a really great, great way to get a lot of experience really fast. <laughs> stuff. Yep, our frog stuff. Okay, this is going to be a tricky one. Alright, so what we want to do... Don't want to do spell cancel. Um, if that works. Assassinate ability. And I don't want party members getting assassinated. Okay. Got one of them. Did I get paralyzed? Got it.
Darn, per okay, lost paralysis, okay. I still need to get par paralyzed by somebody so I can complete that quest. Well, shit. Um... Not want to invert rows. Um, front guard. Blunt charge. Little action. You are going to defend. You both have. You will not full strength if you have it. Crap, got back attacked. Oh, this is bad. I'm gonna die.
Okay, so I'm gonna do this with do the rush because he took out those those uh, dragonflies, and then I can heal up. Oh, it took out everybody. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.